What out? Damn, that was a good one, too. It's car. Damn it to the car. Uh, well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hell, good night to some. What are y'all doing up? Now, I'm getting more likes and follow right at this hour, and it's 1240 in California. I don't know where some of y'all are at, but y'all going in. And I'm trying to figure out why the fuck ain't nobody sleep. Pass it. I sure wish I could. I'm in law school right now. Getting my Judge Judy on. Little plantata. Get that together. Got my ice cream, the frosting. Fuck that up, chocolate chip. Yeah. That's my part. Well, I have nobody over, so <clears throat> ain't nobody gonna eat my ice cream, shit. But thine own, thine ass self. Let me see. I'm feeling a little better. I'm not achy, but I up in here is a little better. You know what I mean? I've been really trying to eat and drink a lot of stuff. So I'm, I'm doing a lot better than I was doing. And I will say, getting some sleep helped me out a lot. Where's my fucking lighter? I need a lighter. Hold on, Jay. Uh oh, no, that's not good. Y'all talking about Captain? Uh oh, back window shot. He dishing all the tea. Uh, much love. Oh, love you too. From Malaysia. Okay, let me see. What's the tea? No tea. Jasmine, I need to learn how to roll blood. Everybody keeps telling me that to do a tutorial. I don't think I could really do one. I'm going to try to do one when we get off here to see. I don't know if it's going to take, I think it's going to take me too long to do it. Because I can't tell nobody how to do no blunt. It just, it's already bent. Put the weed in there, screw the bag, roll the shit off and lick it. And don't suck all on it. To seal it. If you don't suck on it like it's a damn lollipop, it won't be all soggy and shit. Some people like that. Just leave they spit all over it. Bitch, that's not a dick. Quit sucking on it. That's another reason why I don't like people rolling my blunts. Because they be sucking on everything. A dick sucker and they licking on my blunts. No, ma'am. Indiana, go to bed. Girl, you should be getting ready for work. No, I don't use bongs because that shit tear my little bony ass chest up. It be boo and it hurts when I start coughing. I don't like to cough like that. Yeah, that shit, it hits too hard for me. I tried it with water. I tried it with Hennessy. I tried it with vodka, you know, in the bottom of the thing. All that shit hurts to me. So I prefer just to do it, you know, a blunt. Little hit or quit or something. But I'm kind of pissed though. Because I had dropped some weed in my car. And that was some good shit. I'm going to scrape that shit up. You have school tomorrow. Get your ass off here and go to bed. Oh, thank you. I'm amazing. Oh, thanks, you. Oh, thank you. I want to come to Germany. 
I had to get a massage today, baby. I didn't know what the fuck was going on with my back. I didn't know what these aches was, and I just felt like broke down piece of shit. But the lady walked on my back today, <coughs> and that made me feel a little better. Kind of opened me up and stuff. You know, she was cracking things and twisting. Yeah, that's my law school. Judge Judy, I have like a hundred and like 50 episodes I need to catch up on. So when I say I like to binge watch things, you understand when I say I don't watch everything at one time, some things, I like to let it build up so I can go through it like Judy. I'll be done pretty soon. My favorite part about meeting Tamar. Everything. Every fucking thing from the time she walked in the door to the time I walked out that motherfucker to the time she got on stage to the time she walked off. Everything. I wore a red just shirt. She said she liked the just shirt. So I got to send her um, Hey, it's like Adela J. I got to send her some jish. I'm going to send her, she told me to give her all colors. So I'm going to give her the jish shirts. Get through to her through my friend James. And be like, baby, come, here's the shirt, get it to Tamar. She wanted her jish. She was like, I like that shirt. But she knew I was from Drag Race and stuff, so that was hot. We kiki. Oh, you know what, Della? I did get your message. I sure did. And they, as a matter of fact, I'm going to post it right now. Because I was driving. Trying not to go to the left. Shit. Bitch, I had to drink coffee to wake up that medicine. <clears throat> Della, I didn't make it out of town. Bitch, I didn't work. Bitch, I just been fucked up. But I'm better than I was before. Cause bitch, I was worth shit. A lousy piece of fuck. All I was. Hey, Tony, slut, dick sucker. Bitch, do you know when I left you, Tony, I had to pull over to the side, bitch, and go to sleep because I had felt so bad. I had to pull over on the way home and give me a little bit of some sleep. My body just was like, bitch, I was sweating and shit, AC going, then I got the chills. It was horrible. You see, I didn't finish all my food yet. But that night quill and that Elka seltzer baby have put a whooping on that ass so bad. Thank you. That shit had me fucked. Everything hurt. My neck, my ears, my nose, my eyeballs. They just now got almost back to normal. They hurt right here. But baby, these, these motherfuckers, ooh, they was on aching pain. They a little better now. <clears throat> yeah, bitch, I wasn't feeling good Friday. Bitch, I felt like shit, girl, but I was just like, oh, my God. I should have just said, bitch, I am damn near. Yeah, you know, and you know, bitch, I throw that food back. Bitch, I couldn't. I was trying to stay strong. For your birthday, Jit. Bitch, I had to pull over that motherfucker and I had got me like 45 hours, like about 45 minutes sleep. Got up, bitch, and I punched it home. Woof. Came in here and passed the fuck out. It was a wrap. Yeah, you everything, Jed? Oh, thank you, Jed. Hey, love you. Yeah, I'm back. I'm trying to be back. I think I really do love hosting because I had the people today at Lips really dying laughing. 
even as as, as mom, she came with her daughter and uh, and her girlfriend. And she was like, oh, my God, I just love you. You are so funny. Straight people came. They got their jizz. Like, maybe I need to try to do a little stand-up comedian or something. Do a one-woman jizz show and just talk some shit on the mic. Laugh, kiki. Can I smoke in the theater? Shit. I don't see why not. If not, I smoked before. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. By by tomorrow night, Tuesday morning, I should be back, you know. But, you know, I'm, I'm good. I was, baby, I was, woohoo. I was on one of those, like, bitch, that super attitude. Don't call me, don't ask me for shit. Don't even ask me my bank account number to put money in there. When I'm sick, I do not like to be bothered. I could not be bothered when I don't feel good. Because I, I have a bad attitude. And my temper goes short. <clears throat> and I, you know, I just can't. Bring a pen to the theater? I have. But uh, I really don't like those. Yeah, I'm cool, Della. Indiana, what did you say? I really ain't seen nobody else that. Nobody can stop the jish. Okay, don't can't stop the jish. Baby, but shit. But I knew it was gonna come because. All that traveling I've been doing, that weather and shit, everybody around me getting sick, my family all sick, my nephew, oh, Jesus. I'm just thankful I didn't get the throw-ups and the shits. I did not want that part. And I didn't get that part. I just had a little upper early in the morning. But I didn't have no shitters and no throw-uppers, no ma'am. Oh, I miss you and love you too, Indiana. I didn't have that part. Thank goodness I did not want to deal with neither one of those. Not when I'm trying to sleep, bitch. You got to just run to the bathroom in the middle of the night and it's cold. And you got to run your ass, pull your pants down as you shitting all at the same time and freezing. Slamming your balls on the toilet top and shit. Oh, no, ma'am. Nobody had time for that. Ooh, women, y'all don't know what it's like. Uh, sometimes they have balls. They get in our way. And ours hurt. Talking about them titty sagging. No, ma'am, these sagging balls. We have problems. I'm telling you. Running and shit, trying to shit. Bam, hit nut. You just can't even... Jump up and that's you got just all over the place. No, ma'am. It's a lot to go through. My daughter is seven and she loves you. She said, she was sad. Oh, you know what? It is some shows like, oh my God, no, it's not. <laughs> Look, I'm like, no, it's not. It's not in the shows. But, like, I don't know where, you, where you're at, but if I'm, like, ever on the microphone, I can say a lot of stuff without, you know, the kids getting the tea. But you would get it for sure. They may hear shit in every blue moon, but I would never go straight deeper, like, you know, dick all up in that pussy and all that, and that asshole doodle juice. I won't go that far, you know, deep into that part. But... You will still get thy message. Because, you know, I'll be trying to be respectful for, you know, the kids. Seattle, baby, tell Seattle to send for me. If they send for me, I can get there. I got a video called Book the Jish. It's on YouTube. If you take that video 
and share it with the clubs in Seattle and wherever else and wherever else. Trust me, they do contact me. And it happens. It's a very easy, simple process. So simple. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Everybody's happy go lucky. I'm telling you it's simple. So just go to YouTube, Jasmine Masters, book the dish. I tell them I want to smoke weed, have a good time, talk some shit, hang out with my friends, get my dish and make my coin out. It's very simple. All that. One, two, and three. Ain't got to go through a lot of bullshit. I don't need a separate dressing room. I don't need nothing special. All I need is some coffee and some water. Bottle water. And I'm ready. And if they do a meet and greet, they do one. If they don't, they don't. I'm still going to hang out. So it's simple. So just share the dish. I think I'm going to go back to that little lady, though, and have her walk on me again. Because she really opened up some shit when she started walking. Like, damn. I felt my little headache ease up and shit. Like, fuck. I just want to make sure she get me to, you know. Baby, if they send for thine ass... I'm coming. Somebody gave me an edible today. From Canada. She said it was 10% or 10 grams or something. I said, bitch. You know, them things take effect when you don't want them to take effect. But no Tito Shay, it took effect though. It did take effect. Mm. I said, this coffee and this shit do not mix. And I should have known that. <clears throat> yeah, your dish is kind of under the weather. But just getting better, just. I feel, woo, a lot better. And I don't know why I'm fucking with this ice cream. I'm going to be on Gas Central tomorrow. I may have to put that ice cream up, just. I got things to do. Baby, them edibles ain't right. And I know that for a fact. Um, you got your crowns work, just. I still got to go get me a root canal. Um, baby, when I first had them edibles, I was on that fucking show. And all I can remember is when I bent down, and when I came back up, when we was getting out of drag, it was a wrap. I couldn't remember nothing. I didn't know shit we had to do for the challenge. I was having so much fucking fun and fixing shit and sewing people shit, helping bitches with shit. I forgot all about the challenge. She said, what you making? I was like, girl, I have no idea. Then the cocoon came out. I can't think of shit. I got a, a damn hula hoop and some fabric. What the fuck is that going to look like? A cocoon, right? That's what it's going to be. I, girl, I have no idea. What was the challenge? Oh, that shit was funny. I sure wish they would play that. The real one. Because the real one, how it went down, it was the funniest shit ever. Well, I thought about it. Because I was like, girl, I don't know. Shit, what's going on with you? Wrong conversation. It was like, girl, you supposed to talk about this. Oh, okay, well, bitch. I'm about, y'all said go talk the room. I'm trying to talk the room. Oh, we got to talk about, oh, okay. Because I'm all, what you been up to, girl? How you been? They're like, no, bitch, you don't talk to her. You gotta talk about this. Oh, okay. Well, what am I making? I have no idea. I forgot the challenge. 
Maybe that was the key key part. But I couldn't even think. And I'm looking around like, what is everybody doing? I couldn't think of shit. I don't know what I'm going to make. So, that was my introduction to edibles. Now, mind you, I'm up at, they got us up at like 6 o'clock. We got to get in drag. We get in the night before. You're already hyped. You amp. You're excited and shit. I done laid everything out. All my clothes and shit that I had in my room. All that shit was nice and neat. Everything was pretty and nice and perfect. Bitch ain't getting no sleep. And I'm eating them fucking edibles so I can be lit. And that shit wasn't kicking in. And I'm having that coffee too. Baby, please. That shit kicked in and wall thine ass completely out. And I think after that, I remember shit else. I just remember knowing that I was going to send Candy Ho or Tempest home on Geronimo. That was loaded. Uh, yeah, it was a hotel. Okay, maybe also listen to this. Let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a lot going on. Let me see. I'm gonna go back up. Things make sense now. Okay, cast this line. The things. Okay, watch the whiskey on demand. I was hollering. Okay, me too. <laughs> the crowd didn't hurt at all. I told you they ain't gonna hurt, girl. I told you, girl, numb yourself up. They ain't gonna hurt. They not like how they used to be. I'll be watching it now on YouTube. Whether y'all stay in the hotel, maybe I'll also listen to Jasmine to put some <clears throat> or you. Baby, I told you that shit hurt. I mean, that shit works. I know that's thinking. Okay. I know that. Uh, baby, lying. Baby kicked in the wrong time. Yes, they did. Them hoes kicked in at the wrong time. Shit. And it was like, because I had bit down, and I was down for a minute. We were just down there talking and laughing. Baby, as soon as I came up, my head went to doing something. I was like, oh. And I grabbed the, the little table, and I was like, bitch, I had to say my name, say my address, say my mama name, say her phone number, say my social security number, get all that clear in my head to make sure a bitch wasn't losing nothing. But if I knew if I can repeat that shit right off the back, immediately call my mama. Some some number was going to be called this, this my mama name, this something real quick. I always make sure I know that shit when I'm when I used to get drunk. Make sure I knew that shit, baby. But I was la la and I don't regret a motherfucking thing. Fuck that! I ain't got every last piece of my fucking dish. No, I wasn't nervous. I was just like excited, like, damn, finally. You know, I would have been cool walking in the dope no shade and just saying peace and walking out because I had done it. I think my thing was it never was to win. It was just to be on there because I wanted to accomplish that and then move on to the next phase. And that's what I just always been used to, just accomplishing something and then moving on. So I really think my mind was, well, I knew I wasn't going in there to win because I wasn't going to win. But <clears throat> I just knew that was something that I wanted to accomplish. And I accomplished it. And then I moved on to the next thing. And that's why I guess it's really not like a, it's not nothing really, you know, people take it to the extreme with the extra. And to me, it's not nothing for me to be extra about. I just got a pay raise in the job, the way I see it. 
Like, you know, exposure and stuff like that, but I don't, you know. <clears throat> no, baby, we was in our room by ourselves. They had us in the rooms and the door is taped like this. And it's a piece of tape on your door on the outside. So if you open the door, they will know that you opened your door because the tape will be messed up. Can't nobody go fix the tape for you. But no. Oh, yes, I still have that dress. Marco, no shade. That dress cost me about damn near almost $2,000. And that's with the fabric, the utensils, the the piping he used in there, and all them Swarovski stones and a couple of plastics and his feet. And he gave me a discount. Adam McGee made that dress. I knew there was nobody in my area who was going to make that dress the way it was drawn on the picture and to fit the way I needed to fit but Adam McGee. Was it Chad Michael's boyfriend? And when I tell you from the start to finish that motherfucker dress is perfection he stoned all that shit I'm doing better Jish I'm good how are you let me see baby he made the hell out of that silhouette when I tell you whew, I'm like, fuck, how small was I in this? Because it seemed like I must be, ooh, I must have been at 25, 26 for real in that. Because when I put it on, it seemed like I can't even breathe. I have to eat lettuce for a whole day to wear that dress. I can't have nothing. Not if I want to breathe. What? Oh, here it is. What the fuck am I at right? But yeah. <clears throat> Crystal Woods. Oh, hey, sister. What's going on? You know I would. If you're talking to me, you know I got you, sis. Uh, really, that's really cool. Okay. She was okay, it was worth it. Oh, it sure was. Every last bit of it. Anything I need difficult made. <laughs> I don't want to say difficult, but anything I really need to be exact. And just like, damn, I give it to Adam McGee. Chad Michael's boyfriend. Here, everything that's really creative and rhinestone, like that dress and the rhinestone dress with the cutouts, because he made that too. Adam, I always, whatever you say, baby, I'm going to give, just make this dress for me because I need it. And I know you're going to make it right. It's not going to be no half stepping. It's going to be foot in that, what I need. He made me the Beyonce, uh, Single ladies outfit, the black with the rhinestones, exact. Adam, I need this man. And that bitch still in the closet. And I'm finna bust her ass out for the new year. <clears throat> I can't wait to start doing brunch and shows again. Cause I got a whole nother judge. <clears throat> That cut out just everything. Baby, I busted her out again. I kind of held back on her. You know, I didn't want to bust her out too much. But that whole is coming out some old. Because she don't ever get tired. Everybody ain't seen it. And keep making money on it, fuck it. And just say, I'm coming out. 
Now I want the world to motherfucking know. Let it show. I never done that in that dress. Maybe I would. That'd be sickening. Some big old Roth hair. And just hopefully just, you know, smile and cheese and collect a couple of dollars. Yeah, that's the one. You, that's the one. And they had the rhinestones, like, with the with the points. And they had it up the sleeve with single ladies. I think that's the right tour. But, yeah, that one with the rhinestones. <clears throat> yep, and they had the rhinestones in the back. He had made the fuck out of that for me. And I'll never forget when I busted that bitch out. We had a big night at the show. So, bitch, I'm about to bust this on out. Came through the air. Them lights hit. It was a wrap. Thank you, Jeff. <clears throat> but, yeah, he make all my, like, difficult shit. Because he do all the rhinestoning and all that. He sold it, rhinestone it. I did go to a, like, well, I didn't really go to a dance school, but I did take like a, a like an African dance when I was in school, like for like a year, but I never went to like a school to dance or nothing. We just danced, watching Soul Train and videos, and we just made our routines and went into the talent shows and shut them down and fucked them all the way up. Me and my cousins, damn. I can't believe they both gone. Damn. That's fucked up. Okay, I fucked them up with that dress, yeah. What? I think I did. I think. I went through like all type of different Beyonce or whatever blonde type of situations I had. Long straight hair, the curly hair, the poofy hair, the like the flat iron, or I mean the other wine curl type hair. All that down. I went through everything. Whatever I could find to throw in my head to get my jish, I just as long as it was blonde, I made it work. Cause I kept, ref I kept like buying new hair, like every month I have a new piece of blonde hair. So it just kept changing. Damn, I went through some hair in my day. But let me see, favorite lashes. Um, you know, I've been using these. I don't even know if they have a name of them, but they are dollar. <laughs> And I have been using them lashes for years. And I don't even know the name. They just in a white case. And I've been using those for since I've been doing drag. But, I mean, I lashes are lashes, you know, really. Shit, they're going to do something for your ass, hopefully. But I did try some, um, oh, God, I'm so bad with names and stuff. I think they call bat lashes. And I had never tried like a mink type of lash. And I liked them so much because I had a double pair on, but they were so light. And you could still see. I don't know, it was just a different feeling than the real the regular plastic strip. But you know, go to the beauty supply. They got lashes for a dollar. I get them right there. But see, at the Sloss and Swap Meet, they got them for 12 for You know, you buy 12 you get them for a dollar piece. But then my homegirls, I've been going to them hoes for years. So I just go in there and get about 100 Be like, bitch, give me 100 Especially when I go out of town. I need 100 301s because a lot of the drag queens wear the 301s, the real big ones. <clears throat> Baby, I go and sell them hoes because, like, in Texas and all them places, they about $3, $5. Baby, I'm like... 
Bitch, give me, give me two dollars. Cause I'm gonna make my comeback regardless. That's a hundred. That's a hundred. That's a hundred percent profit, if not more. If they selling them for five and I come selling them for three, but that a get my coin and it goes so quick. One show, bam, gone. I'm sitting pretty. No said that I'd be like, oh, rent a car paid. <laughs> Let me spend this hundred flip that. That's the rent a car. No shade. You know what I mean? It doesn't care what you're paying my rent off. I gotta take care of that part. So let me figure out how to pay for that. Oh, let me go buy some fabric. Spend about fifty dollars on fabric. Sell that shit for about two fifty. Oh, bitch, I'm cool. <laughs> Especially when I don't want to travel with nothing. Oh, baby, please. I go with fabric only. Fabric ashes. And I just sell it to the girl. Girl, you want this? You want that? All right, let me go buy me some clothes. Gotta tell y'all, y'all gotta understand. It's really simple. You just gotta think of ways to figure it out. And just, I don't know. I figured out some ways. Well, I, I have done that before. I haven't done it recently because I haven't had the chance to pack anything extra. And then I don't want to carry extra shit. I'm like, fuck it. That's why I don't carry just shit around with me. I don't want to carry around nothing else extra. Fuck that. I hate lugging them fucking bags. That shit get tiresome. But, you know, it's just, you know, it's... It's my truth. But yeah, so I'm going to do that. That's going to be my carry-on for when I go to Dallas and Houston. Fabric and lashes. I may ship some fabric, though. I'm going to ship the, the lashes because that's lighter. That's about $10. I did see the Bruno Mars and Cardi B video. Okay. Cause shit, I'm telling y'all flat out. You gotta figure out a way to make some money. Yep. So I gotta go shopping. Did you see Diane at the Abbey? Yes, I seen Diana at the Abbey. Girl, but that was, I seen her on the computer. I was devastated to wake up the next morning to see her at the Abbey. I'm like, what the fuck? I was out of it last night, girl. I didn't want to be bothered. All I wanted to do was sleep and just rest. Leave me alone. But if I would have known she was in the club, I would have fell out of the bed and went up in there. Will you be in Dallas next month, Just Yes, I will be. I'm going to be at S4 something. I'm at S4. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I need a shave. It's somewhere. Oh, the 26, 27, 28. I'm at S4. So you can see me all three nights or one of those nights. And we can get our jitters. So remember when I was telling, I don't know if y'all was on here, but I had said something. What day? Did I tell you the date? I did tell you the date. The last weekend of the month. That when you go to Olive Garden and you order the chicken fettuccine or the chicken, what is it called? The fettuccine Frida. Frida is with the fried chicken. Chicken breast. If you, um, <clears throat> if you uh get the soup, the the, the chicken yoki, 
If you mix that with the damn pasta, little pepper, little salt, baby, I'm telling you, pick up out. That Bama in that taste book is amazing. So somebody sent me a video, and they did it. And I can't even find the fucking video, because I, I don't know who sent it. Everybody's sending me stuff. I don't know who's all these people. Oh, damn. I can't find it. <clears throat> Shit, I'm on there for the 14 through the 17. Oh, yeah. So I'm there. Then I'm in Houston. Uh, the third and the fourth. But I'm going to be kicking it all up in, uh, in Dallas for a couple of days. Well, you know what? Well, at least for a day after that. <clears throat> then I'm going to go get my juice. I can't really say too much because, you know, I'm going to keep all of my tea. Um, yeah, oh, my gosh, it's amazing. And, then, you know, I was lit one day. I was really... You know, sm smoked a few good ones before I went up in there, and I ended up talking. You know, we was getting our dish and stuff, and my pot, my food came out with my soup, and I was like, fuck it, just dump it up in there, because they don't ever give you enough sauce in your damn noodles anyway. So I was like, fuck it, let me just dump this shit in there, mix it up, and eat. Best thing I could have thought of. The best thing I could have thought of. But I always need somebody who want to get the salad because I still want the salad. And you only get one. So I'm like, what you going to get, the salad? Cool. I can't stand going with a bitch who want to get soup. Now I don't. And my friend Tony, that bitch always wanted, this the, that's the bitch that turned me on to the Yoki. Soup there, so this bitch always want to get the yolky and never get the salad. So I'm like, you know, bitch, you get one, I get one, and then we just say, can you give us some more? We can, bitch, take the salad, put some on the plate, eat it up. We gonna get some more. It's nonstop. But some people don't like to work the game like me. They be scared. What the fuck can they do, bitch? I'm like, they can't do nothing, bitch. You got the salad, I got the soup. We sharing. They can't tell us we can't share. Bitch, what the fuck? They're not going to put us out. If they do, bitch, we just ate up some soup and salad. Just get the fuck out of here. But, you know... Do I like Lana Del Rey? You know what? What song does she sing, honey? What was her one hit that was really big that I could know? I don't really know her music like that. I'm just saying. Because, see, I get her mixed up with Melissa Morissette. Is that that girl name or is she an actor? I don't know. But I do know she sings some songs that I know, because somebody asked me that. And I know you guys, or somebody put my face on her photo or, or her album or something. I've seen that meme a million times. But I mean, I know she had like a song or something that I did like, because we had talked about it before. I don't even know how that goes. <laughs> that ain't even helping me. I don't have to hear it. But I think that is it, though. That do sound familiar. You get her cute, confused with Demi Levac, baby. You know what? I do. I went to Sizzler's, like, let's say about two months ago. And I went in there and I tore them biscuits up with that damn butter. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Two of them. He took over the email. 
I don't know what the fuck they do with that butter or what the fuck that is, but that butter and them biscuits, when they come right out the oven, is amazing. Anything that needs butter, use that butter and put there. And then when they have endless shrimps, I fuck it up over there. That's when I fuck up some shrimp. Because that's all I will eat, fried shrimp. I will fuck that up at Sizzlers. All you can eat? Oh, baby, please. Keep them coming and keep them goddamn biscuits rolling up out of here. Refill raspberry. Keep it coming. Or some coffee. If not both. And I'll be there for about a good hour, hour and a half. And I'm chewing the whole time. I may stop for about a good 10 minutes, burp, you know, a couple of times. But right after that, I'm right back at it. Amazing. Car ride like with Lady Fred. <clears throat> uh, it was my car. And we used to just smoke and play music. Laugh and talk. That was it. Smoking our asses off. Did you? I do watch Housewives. Did you see my video? Let me show you. Shit, baby. I'm the only one that think Sheree look like a black chair. If I could turn back time, oh, if I could find my way, oh, I would come back. Oh, bitch. Back as a black woman named Sheree from Atlanta Housewives. Why she look like a black share? I <laughs> get it, Sheree. <laughs> Am I the only one that... She look like a black share. She ready to turn back time. Uh, I'm, did you call? Oh, your brother service at a mass. I know what it's like there. I thought you were too late. You didn't have to do that. So I'll try to make it some of those experiences for you. Baby, so I don't know who and who talked to her and told her to put that blonde on her Sheree you are beautiful you are a beautiful woman but that look them looks that short one that goes here and that one is not becoming of her I like her when she had that short with a little pullover but no Sheree you too pretty for that Not saying you can't wear the, she can't wear the color. Because she could definitely wear the color. It's just the, the style to me. I'm just like, no, Sheree. No. And I'm like, where was her friends to tell her? Like, girl, that ain't the <laughs> What's my, oh, wait, my ice cream. Mm. My Lord. My favorite movie is uh, Lady Sings the Blues with Diana Ross. That's me and my mommy movie. I got my ass whooped from that movie. Well, from the soundtrack, Smoking Cigarettes. I did watch Hip Hop Miami. I think um, the dark Latin girl, I think she's pretty.
the ice cream, and then these Bob is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Nene has been coming with some punchlines this season. They have been wearing. I'm sorry. They have been wearing my nerves completely out. I mean. Wearing my nerves out. I cannot wait to, uh, to make a new Nene mix. I'm going to call Do you have any advice for a team on like how to get booked and stuff like that? Well, baby, let me tell you about getting booked. Nine times out of ten, you're not going to get a book and coming right out the gate. Because you have to prove yourself. But when you hear of a contest or like a benefit show or something like that, them are always good things to go to to show your talent, to get your name out there. Because you want to do a lot of free shit before you start making some big money. So you might as well go in there and find you a benefit or a contest, shut it down and get your name out there and start making some money. But keep your ass in school and make sure your ass have a job. If your uh, financial aid or whatever, those finances ain't right. Because drag ain't going to pay your bills right off the bat. And I can tell you that fat off the back, baby. Mm -mm. It don't happen for everybody. I've been blessed and lucky, but it's a lot of girls that drag is not paying for them. That's a lot of girls who've been on Drag Race. They work a regular 9 to 5, 8 to 4, 1 to 3, or whatever, because drag ain't paying their bills. So, mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm the first white club is the bomb. I could watch that movie and just watch it. I do have merch. I'm about to post everything up uh, sometime this week. That Bob is horrible. Yeah, she is pretty. Hey, Jess. You know what? I went to some Waffle Houses. They was okay. But I did find one where they really, you know, went north with the everything. Seasoning was right. Everything was good. Some of them didn't give me what I thought. The food was just, ugh. Mm -hmm. Bob just still. What they took like. Okay. <laughs> I love that too. Um, uh, you Are My Friend is my favorite song to lip sync. That's a song that I had shut it down when I first did drag. And then. It was a song before my uh before my best friend had died. He had told me whenever I do that song, think of him. Cause that was his favorite song to see me do. So whenever I try to do it, I try to. Do it the best I can. Cause I know dad's watching me. Ain't gonna read me if I don't do it. I have some help. 
I felt so frustrated because I haven't been. Sometimes I just have been pretty. Copy the game for him for the floor on the bench now. What the do I do? Well, baby, you taking hormones, they say that mess with your mind. But you have to find peace within yourself. Ooh, hold on, let me put my ice cream up. Because I don't want to fuck up. Okay, now baby, honestly, I really don't know how to <coughs> talk to you on that situation, but the only thing I could just say is, if, I do know if you're taking like a hormone or something, that does does a hold to your emotions and stuff. But what you're going through, you're going through a big process. I mean, you're changing, you know, your whole body form. So that could be a little, you know, mind tricky. But just become one with yourself, just and know who you are and what you're doing, and make sure you're doing it for your own self and not for someone else and not for attention. Make sure you're doing it because you want and you know that you are in the wrong body. Don't do it for no other reason. Don't do it because you think you're gonna get all the trade, because you can get in drag and still keep all the trade. They even like it better that way, because when you're on the mound, your dick is off. And they don't want you because you're a woman, they want you because they want some dick <laughs> from a girl. You know, so. I need to watch first. You do need to watch the first wise club. Oh, baby, boo, please watch it. Just sit back and just watch that shit. You will enjoy that movie. I'm not rooting for anyone. I have a few on there, and I told them all, whatever they win, slide me $5, and we cool. I'm not asking for a lot. Just give me, you know, $5. If I eat ice cream, I gain five pounds. And I'm true, Jesus, Jesus, and all this. Which area of wisdom? This is so true, Jesus. I don't even know what the hell is true. I don't even know what the hell I said. Stuff to watch while stalling Jesus. <coughs> First Housewives Club. I mean the Housewives Club. I mean the first wise club. <laughs> wife sister at one and two. She say, Good day, ladies and gentlemen. You don't give a shit. <laughs> that is my favorite. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> no, I never met. Oh, who met Diane King? Oh my god. They are funny as shit in that movie, though. <coughs> they all funny in their own little way. It's a good movie to watch. Sister Act 2. She said, I was. The whole shit. <laughs> that shit was funny. I did a little scene from that today. Cause she had to say, Alma, but you know, she's tapped her foot. I had to do that to the DJ at the club tonight. I mean, I lips. Honey, drop the beat me, press play. <laughs> Come on. Stay with me. I'm trying to bless you to bless me. But it worked. Come on, my Starbucks. Yeah. She came to your Starbucks? Shut up. And what'd she get? What'd she she must be going Palm Springs. They all be in Palm Springs walking around like it's nothing. But I don't ever see them because I don't go in that area. I dip on through. Coming to America, that oh yeah, that was funny too. 
You mad at three times, you take a picture, I just gonna cut off. <laughs>